In this Mercury Gate video blog short, we discuss evaluating the success of a demo. Because I lead the team that provides demonstrations, I'm often asked how I think demos should be evaluated. Now, many people think that seeing vendor demos are similar to interviewing candidates for a job. They think being fair means asking every candidate the same questions, that they need to speak to every candidate before making a decision, and that more candidates will yield a better future employee. That may or may not be true for job interviews, but it's definitely not true for evaluating technology. Instead, I would always suggest evaluating a demo in the context of your business goals for the project. The critical things you need to either fix, accomplish, or avoid to move your business forward, and the key features and capabilities that a new system needs to have in order for you to do that. Then ask yourself, or the evaluation committee, how well did that vendor prove that they could accomplish our business goals? Did they tailor the demo to what we need? Did they connect the dots between how their system works and how it drives our outcomes? Do I have confidence in them? If you can answer yes, then go sign today. Seriously. But if you answer no, take a minute to review the criteria or guidance you provided to the vendor prior to the demo to determine if it was an articulation error or a personalization error. An articulation error can happen when a business struggles to clearly articulate their business goals, when information's held back, or when in the name of fairness, you ask every vendor to demonstrate the same features in exactly the same way, regardless of whether or not that sequence is actually the way their system should be used. It's imperative that you share your business goals and success criteria with vendors, and then give them the freedom to personalize their demo to you. In other words, tell them what you need to accomplish and then allow them the flexibility to show you how they'll help you do that. And if you need help on how to best articulate your business goals, go watch my video, The RFP Mistake You Don't Realize You're Making. Now, if you accurately articulated your business goals and a vendor presented a demo that ignored your needs, then they have made a personalization error and that vendor likely isn't right for you, either because they didn't understand your needs or didn't have a way to meet them. Remove them from your consideration, tell them why, and then work with the vendors who will personalize their demos and show you why they're the right partner for you. Keep in mind, you may not find the perfect candidate in your initial round of demos, but you should be able to sort out the vendors that are making the effort to understand your goals and want to be a partner in your success versus those that think a one-size-fits-all demo actually fits anyone. It's okay if you still have questions. Keep articulating them to your ever-narrowing list of possible partners. At MercuryGate, we always take your success seriously, and our team of experts is ready to help you. Request a demo on MercuryGate.com or reach out to your MercuryGate representative today to schedule a personalized demo that demonstrates why we're the right TMS vendor and how we can move your business forward. That's all for now. Visit the Resource Center at MercuryGate.com for more MercuryGate video blog shorts.